leaving. At the age of six, he said, I cannot go to bed without thinking about what I saw. How old? If you remember yesterday in Khalid ibn Walid, we said the ages from three to six is the preschooling age. According to the basics book of Nursing Home, volume one, chapter three, page 63, Jerry Fusey said, this moment at this age, whatever the child will see, will not forget it. <coughs> Ask those who memorize Quran in the very early age. It's difficult for them to forget it. Why? Because it's either they memorize it at the age or ages between 6 to 10 or ages 12 to 15. It's difficult to forget. Whatever a young man memorizes or registers in his mind, in his brain, is not going to be forgotten about at all. You know why? Because the retina of the eyes, when grabbing pictures, you will see it will send message to the sclera, and that will be shot directly to medulla oblongata and the behind the person's what brain, and it's no way for that picture to be deleted. And even if that young boy will forget, guess what? The day he sees something similar to that, he will recall instantly. That's how the brain works. That eyes, our eyes, biologically, anatomically, our eyes are not what sees. A person may think, my eyes see things, and my eyes recognize, no. That's what we used to think. But biologically, in 21st century, it's proving that our eyes are not what giving us the vision. Simple example as this. Sometimes you can see, like I know this brother, but the eyes is seeing him is in front of you. But why you cannot remember? Because the connection did not meet yet, and the medulla oblongata and cerebellum did not come under the medimbulum. <laughs> I'm sorry, today we invited you for a moment. How many times do you see a brother? But like, this, like I know you, brother. Like I know you. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Then you say, why? At the first glance, you did not remember. Because the medulla oblongata did not click yet. So once they come, because our brains, do you know? External hard drive, right? You know external hard drive? Connected to the computer, right? And once you plug it to the computer, what happens? You see, it will give you a signal. If you're using uh, Windows, you will see it's rotating this way. If you're using Mac, you will see the mouse, the mouse will be circle. Blue, yellow, and red. They will be circled until the external hard drive is registered, then they will go. Then the computer will pick the signal that now your hard drive had been what? Recognized. You know what happens? They took that from the brain of human being. And you know, the brain of human being is just like different files. And the hard drive, the disk, they made very small, tiny disks, and they laid them on each other just like that. So that's why when you drop your hard drive, if you're not lucky, your hard drive will what will be corrupted. Why? Because once the disk inside crack, that's it. Your entire files will be gone. So they are so tiny disk inside that you cannot see. Likewise, a person's brain is just like the disk. It's just like that hard disk, layer after layer. So once you see a person, the first layer will tell you, no, you met this person before. Unless the second layer connects the dot, the file will not be open for you to know that you've seen the person before. So sometimes you can be looking for five minutes, you cannot recognize. A person that you did some, you know, some old life in Japan with, or in Hamburg, or in what do you call it, in China, or maybe somewhere in India. A person whom you have seen long time ago, maybe 15, 20
many years back, when you see him, you try to recognize him until the file in your brain is widely open before you realize, yes, we used to live in Japan together. But if your file cannot open it, you will not be able to remember. The kids, do you know why sometimes it's difficult for the elders to remember, but easy for the kids to remember? Take this as an example. The young ones here, listen. When we plug the external hard drive and open several windows, open the Internet Explorer, open Windows Explorer, open your files, open your own recycle bin, open all of them at a time, what happens? It takes long and the computer freezes, isn't it? What? Because you've tasked the computer to do extra, extra. So once you task the computer with a lot of things, the computer will take longer to load and it will take long for the computer to recognize. Likewise, our parents, because you have a lot of bills in your brain, you have a lot of problems to take care of in Africa or Middle East. You have to go to Western Union every Monday. You have to make sure that MoneyGram is, visiting, is visited by you every month. You have to make sure that you pay the rent. Even you come to our sheikh and our father to memorize some few ayat. Once you finish memorizing Ahmed Tasa'alun, when you open your mailbox, pico bill, then you forget all Ahmed Tasa'alun again. <laughs> Why? Because the brain is being tasked with what? With a lot of things. So it's what? It opens slowly. But our kids, why? Because the brain is what? It's empty. Did they have to worry about bills? Did they have to take a worry about what they will bring home for the family to eat? Did they have to worry about if they don't pay, the house will be foreclosure? Did they care about, you know, support, father, don't worry, sit down, let me go to work. Did they care about that? This is chop, tea, chop, now, let's come eat. Whether the father is broke or not, we don't care, we just here to eat. Isn't it? Your kids, if you have seven years, does he care about whether you lose your job or not? But you will be worried. So the kids, when they're sitting and listening or watching, they register and they will never forget. So when you leave your son and you know that the house isn't secured, the house is not secured, how? You know that certain things that you get in the house are immorality items. Once the sun is exposed, once a child is exposed to that, he cannot what? He cannot forget. So that what happens to Susan. Oh, oh no, Ben. Later on, he gets a girlfriend by the name Susan. At the age of six, it is mentioned in the biography of this young lad. You know what he used to do? Allah. So you see, what happened is this. We call it chop morning, right? The money that your father will give you to go to school. Go buy some canteen with it. Go buy some food with it. So now when he takes that amount of money, this young boy, he goes to school. You know what happens? He goes and pay the young girls in the school during the break time for them to come and lift up whatever they have for their bodies to be seen. That's his food every day. Later on, they question him why. He said, no, I used to see it in paper. I want to see it live. From that moment, this young, intelligent boy, his brain became completely cracketured, confused, bewildered and completely puzzled. He cannot focus in school. So now, parents, let's be honest. And that's why I say I apologize. How many of us have been selling types of immorality items in our houses? Can we count? Just to be honest. Ya ayyuha ar-rajulul mu'allimu ghayrahu halla li nafsika kana dhat ta'alimu tasifu al-dawa'a li dhisqamu wa dhiddana kayma yasihu bihi wa anta saqimu wa naraka tuslihu bil-rashadi uqulana abadan wa anta min al-rashadi adhimu ibda li nafsika fanhaha 